How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, this is going to be a popcorn video. You see much time I have devoted to this, and we're going to speak about what's obvious. And the games that the enemy play, the games that they play, and how they always find a way to make it for themselves. So um, I attempted my royal family. Many was um, um, watching on my main channel, um, our queen here's home going. And um, I was abruptly cut off. <laughs> no explanations or anything. But we're going to get into it. Because um, I absorbed it and... I got the message and I know many have gotten the message we we pretty pretty sharp so this picture here is of our queen and she is at Barack Obama's inauguration and um, I mean well she I mean she 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 bring it like she always do and um, I never forget that day and yes I was one of the ones that voted and um, I knew he wasn't going to do anything, but so I can use it as a talking point, um, I wanted to say that I voted. Now, Mr. Santana, he don't vote for nobody because he said, baby, you know he ain't going to do shit. I said, I know that, honey. I'm not going against you. I just, I don't want to lie. <laughs> ain't no black politicians ain't did shit for us. We already know this. I fully understand that. But I'm not going to sit up here and... Um, um, insult the royal family's intelligence and um, the unquote human side of me there yes I would hope that these black politicians would be the voice of us and attempt to do anything um, and I have often spoke of that with a Barack, Barack Obama being in office two terms um, the Coon Caucus and, the, um, and Barack Obama never ever 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 attempted to have even one meeting so they all full of shit like i said it was all about their immediate situation see how this thing's supposed to go my royal family we know this is the enemy system and if i unquote was the president i already know that they have long establishments where um that can't be broke at all and when you are doing political posturing, how I would approach the enemy is, um, okay, A, B, and C, and D going to get done for your people. See, behind closed doors, you speak very core and very frank. Well, my folks need A, B, C, and D. Now, I might have 20 things up there. I'm not naive. I know... I can't fulfill those 20 things that I'm presenting to the enemy, even though I'm the president and they running me because the shadow government is running all this shit. Even they even running um, Trump's um, retarded ass. And along with the Coon Caucus, we would have been a united front and at least, at least try to accomplish two things. It would be a tug of war back and forth. I understand the system I'm under, but not to do absolutely nothing at all. And this is what I told my husband. When a Barack Obama spoke at the inauguration, me being empathic, me always picking up on emotions and feelings and all these things that the royal family has been gifted with, it felt like waves, literally penetrating my soul and I said to my husband I looked right in his eyes and I said he is he is going to make sure that the gay community get many benefits now <clears throat> um, I know some gay people may come on here and listen I don't gay bash people um, I would imagine that there are throughout our family we have <clears throat> gay family members and I love my gay family members just like all my family members I do not agree with their lifestyle but if anybody hurt my first and my for my family member I ain't looking at them as gay I'm gonna have the same feeling 
like anybody else would have about their family member. And there may be some stuff they don't agree about my lifestyle. And uh, all human beings need to be protected, whatever choice they may make. So you can't come here with that with me. Uh-uh. Game recognize game. But it's how they throw shit up in the royal family's face. And we did not hear, we didn't um, support it, everybody. And ain't nobody supported us. So, the other day, at our queens here, home going, the enemy took that opportunity to um, um, benefit from it. And it was sheer disrespect on the first phase of um, our queen's home going. Um, you got people up there singing that couldn't sing worth a damn. Um, people we didn't know. We got um, one of our royals. She come up on the stage and the first thing I typed in, where's the pole? See, it is our duty and it's our responsibility. I don't give a damn what these royals say. You're not gonna, um, you representing the royal family and you got a dress all up in, up in your nookie pie? Shit. When she stepped out on that stage, you should have seen how Bill Clinton sat his old dusty ass up real straight. No, you tell, you you want to know the attire that they're going to wear. Now, whatever you do off of your own unquote time, your own special time, that's what you do. Whatever you wear or whatever. But when you are out, any of us, representing the royal family, there is even a way you are supposed to dress. Yeah, I said that. We got to get back to that because we used to do that back in the day. See, what we have lost sight of, my royal family, is just us alone. And I'm not saying the all, so don't come up in here with the all. No way. That we are representing the royal family. I expect something from you, and you should expect something from me. I had said on Lisa's um, hangout that we had on her channel the other day, ooh, that was a good hangout. We laughed till we couldn't laugh no more. That you could take some binoculars or even a microscope and follow me around. You ain't going to catch me cooning. You ain't going to catch me disrespecting the royal family. You ain't going to um, catch me um, dressed in a certain way where it disrespect, first and foremost, my husband. See, I was taught that by my father. Y'all often hear me quote my father. He had that type of impact on my life. He really did. And he always told me to do my own thinking. Now I repeat these things often because there's new people to come to the channel, my royal family, and I have to do that. And I'm not gonna stop seeing my royal family. So if you don't like me seeing the royal family, I suggest you to do this. Get the fuck up off this channel if you don't want to be respected. I'm going to always say my queen. I'm going to always say my king. And I refer to our children as royals. I ain't said it enough. It's a form of respect. And we need to get, get to that. And that ain't, that ain't old fashioned. So anyway, as I continue to whew, <laughs> bring it, because there's a lot of things that's been on my heart. Um, how the enemy um, takes full um, opportunity to benefit from our stuff, and um, and and it it pisses me off because I be wondering behind the scenes, like in this situation with our queen's home going, who was the one that did the planning, who was the one that had the influence? You know, you know, it's like some of these people that popped up. I was like, who the hell is this? You know. And then at the Queen's home going, you have the top singers. The top. You don't start out with no sorry ass singers. No, you don't do it like that. In this particular situation, they are top. Because, you know, you always say the best for last. Well, when you are honoring the Queen of Soul, no, no, no. Everybody better bring it. I better feel chills running up and down my spine. One of them come to Jesus moments when you are honoring the queen. But they disrespected our queen. So it was a 50-50 type of thing situation because somebody that look like us is continuing to pander to the enemy. And I'm fucking sick of y'all asses. Y'all always use opportunities. Opportunities to get y'all digs in. Same thing that they did to um, when um, 
Coretta Scott King passed and um, Harry Belafonte was going to be one of the main speakers and um, Bush number two first he didn't know if he was going to come or not to her home going and then after that he at the last minute he decides I'm going to come and then the next thing um, Harry Belafonte get is a phone call and they don't want him to say a word but he's still welcome to attend the funeral and sit with just um, the ordinary people in um, the church pews disrespect and then on top of that um, when George Bush too was there he was um, not and off and on at the uh, at her at her home going and then he didn't even stay for it all and the reason why I'm still pissed about that shit when uh, Martin Luther King was assassinated by the enemy here um, Harry Belafonte took care of that family he had got an insurance policy out on King he took care of that family he took care of the immediate situation he was even helping them before he passed because they had a lot of things to do the kids needed nannies somebody needed to have the house clean and to do Harry Belafonte um, like that I blame the, the, the um, uh, Martin Luther King's and Coretta Scott King um, children directly. So there's somebody, unquote, in the shadow that's running us, some of us. I ain't going to say all, but some of us. See, we got to look deeper into this, my royal family. Gang recognized gang. Bullshit. It don't smell right. It don't taste right. And it don't look right. And it don't feel right. But I'm going to bring it. I'm going to point it out. I don't care who get pissed up in this motherfucker. So anyhow, as we continue on. Okay. There is various pictures that I found in other situations where um, Barack Obama's um, sorry ass is sitting up here crying when um, um, Aretha Franklin is singing. And there is various pictures that I can show you, but I'm not going to even take the time to do it, where she received... Um, um, numerous awards um, and he was there to present it to her or whatever they do for um, our icons that are still alive and they go to the White House and they do all that shit you know we see all that shit so it was obvious that um, Barack Obama was not at her home going and um, me personally um, I don't give a fuck but we're speaking on a different arena my Rayo family, and I'm gonna point it out. So, um, so John McCain, <clears throat> um, let's get over here. Let's go over here. So, we know that John McCain had passed, and that was all plastered all over the um, airwaves and continuing to be. And they talk about, you know, now it's time for nostalgia and the violence and all the stuff and how great and wonderful he is and um, the sacrifice that he has sacrificed for this country and being a, um, a prisoner of war and the torture and all the things that he had to endure. You know, we're going to keep hearing that over and over and over. And we're not we're we're going to lose sight of the dirt that he has done to the royal family. Um, not wanting to um, vote in for Martin Luther King um, birthday to uh, I mean um, to be a holiday to have a holiday for his birth I think it was for his birthday if I'm correct yes for his birthday and it just happened that and a lot of y'all know that I was born in Phoenix Arizona and I have a great deal of family down there even to this day and some of them are all caught up in that political stuff down there so I, I got a I, I get to hear some of the deeper feedback that how pissed they were because in Arizona I think it's something still to this day about three percent three to four percent black people live in the state of Arizona so um, if I'm correct I think they had three um, services for um, uh, John McCain you know they, they had it, um, I think it's two or three shit. I don't keep up with that stuff, but in Arizona, then they went on to D.C. Okay, well, Obama was there to speak. And, um, and when I learned about that, I said, 
and I'm and I'm showing this picture deliberately because look who's controlling his ass. You ain't even the president no more, but he gonna send a letter to the queen. You know, somebody can read it. And then, um, let's go back over here real quick. And then you got over here, um, Bill Clinton's. Um, he part of the freak nasty crew. His ass there. You know, you see how game go. See, they got they they they. It's people behind in the shadow that's controlling. And then we, there's some cooning, a bunch of cooning, and a bunch of uh, a pandering to these people. See, they got this shit all set up. No, Barack's ass was supposed to be there because um, that was a historical moment when um, um, he became president. Like him or not, it was historical. And he should have been at our queen's home going. But he's at a unquote Republican's service. And I'm going to leave y'all a message with this too. At a Republican service. And, um, and um, he's supposed to be an unquote um, Democrat. And he's speaking um, at the funeral. Giving his, you know, nothing more than a dog and pony show. It don't. It don't even balance out. Let's keep it core. What's really going on? No, it should have been the other way if they was going to send a representative from the Republican Party um, for Bill Clinton to be there. But we all know that um, um, the Republicans and the Democrats, they all went in the same. You know, it's like pick your poison, you know. That's all. It's at the end of the day, it's still poison. It might one poison might be might have a might be a little sweet and easy to swallow, but you're still gonna get the same results. See, this is an insult to our intelligence. But the other part is, um, what I like about this is it, it it lets us know that they still running his ass, and when they tell him to do something, yes, a boss, yes, a boss. And and um, and the people that you looking at here behind the scenes, um, they 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 can't stand us, but they love for us to um, entertain them because we make them feel some kind of way. So for a fleeting moment, they feel some kind of way. Oh yeah, that that's a good gal. That's a good boy. Yes, but keep it right there. Don't be uppity, and remember your place. And yes, a boss, I'm going to be there. Now, one thing, a message I want to leave the royal family, because some people, um, I had typed it in in Lisa's channel. Um, um, I always have my channel on the news channel because I want to keep up with all the news. So I was bombarded with early in the morning when they were having his uh, McCain service before his service started. Um, and he, they were taking him out of the, the hearse, it started pissing raining. And I was like, whoa. Okay. So um, later that day, my husband um, mentioned it um, to me about um, it, it um, raining at, at his service. I mean, before the service even started. And the, and, um, the message that came to me from the creator when my husband said that was, um, and I hope I'm saying it correct, it was the message that came to me was, um, how, how did it go? I said, oh, Lord, and I just, and I had typed it in, too. I said, uh, la, 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 la. you know what? Give me just a second, family, because I'm going to read it. I got to read it. <clears throat> Let me go over here to Lisa's channel and I will read exactly the message that the message that was given to me because I didn't, I want to say it correctly and I did not have that set up right. Y'all caught me slipping, but it's fine. I ain't editing anything. <laughs> you know how I do. It's going to come out authentic. I want to remain authentic. Um, and I would encourage the royal family to go listen to Lisa's um, last hangout. It was it was it was so funny. It was powerful, but it was funny. A lot of things um, that was said was just truly um, amazing. 
So here, let me pull this up. And I want to give y'all give that to y'all correctly. And here it is right here. Okay. Let me go back. And let this thing run a little bit. Because I don't want to, this particular one, I don't want to say it off the top of my head and get it, get it all screwed up. Okay. Okay. I, I wrote here, um, related to John McCain, my, my, I said, um, uh, my vision today at McCain's service, it rang before the funeral. This message is to the beast. You will cry till the dawn of days. You will not have everlasting life. All right. I want to make sure I solidify that, my royal family. So anyhow, anyhow, let's get back into um, into this this um, disrespect of our queen. A lot of us seen what was going on, and um, and I would imagine in the next few days more people will um, speak speak on it. But mainly the reason why I wanted to put this video up so we can continue to stay on our P's and Q's and be aware of these games that the enemy um, play, and they have absolutely no respect for the unquote deceased. You know, they have none. And the other driving message that I want to give is I am sick and tired of our own allowing the enemy to control us like that, even to this day. And they'll get up there, and um, many did at our queen's home going, get up there and um, say whatever they're going to say to the black community because at the end of the day, they want the votes. That's all they want is the votes and stuff. And um, we're going to have to stop it. And it's like the the, uh, the Democratic Party. They always come to us. They always pander us at the last damn minute because they want that, want that vote and don't do absolutely shit. You have to hold their feet to the fire, and they have to feel. If you choose to get be involved in the political arena, I choose not. Everybody have their um their cho choice i rather work directly with the community because why waste your time and energy with these people and they're going to continue to do the same thing they're not going to never ever do anything for us and we need to continue to band to uh, band together but and then the other part of it is when they see that we are doing um things on our own fruition and not having them involved, they, that, that's when the enemy gets concerned and they want to penetrate that. And we cannot let n no entities penetrate um, our progress. And if we find out, even if our own, we need to deal with them swiftly. Deal with them. So see, it's nothing sacred. Nothing is sacred. And um, that's where I'm pissed at with... Um, Barack's ass. You know, you ain't even in office no more, and you still posturing. You know, throw you out there. You gonna do? You gonna do what we tell you to do? You know, you 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 just everyday citizen now. You know? <laughs> no, he's not. Mm mm. He will always be attached to them, and it, whenever they tell him to do what he need to do, oh, he gonna do it with the quickness, with the swiftness. See. In this particular situation, the enemy felt upstaged, you know, fell upstaged. And so um, um, they didn't like the fact that, um, you know, in the same day that our queen would be having her home going and a lot of people around the world would be focused on that. They wanted us to really and truly focus on McCain's um I'll just keep it like that. I'll show a teensy of something or whatever, all right? But 
you know what I'm talking about because I've been trying to develop speaking on code. Sometimes it's hard because I just want to bring it. I don't like I don't like I don't like restrictions. One more thing, my royal family. Uh, what I did do, because you know I got cut off and it just threw me off after that. Over here on my Black Junction um, um, channel, um, when it really started popping, um, I um, put up uh, various uh, uh, videos of all the beautiful music. You know, when we display our gifts, we got Jennifer Hudson and. Um, we see in Shaka Khan and Fantasia and the Clark sisters and Shirley Caesar. And I mean, you're talking about bringing it. They was really bringing it. And then one last video I put, um, um, I took it from um, Ben X channel. And he spoke on why um, Farrakhan did not speak. Because the enemy was watching everything close. And they was wondering why. Um, what is, what is um, um, Farrakhan doing there see how to get down what is he doing there so when you when 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 you, when you um read statements like that what they are saying is they control they, they they feel like they're still in control of us whatever issues we may have with any of our leaders in our communities and stuff like that they, they still a part of us that's our business if we want fair kind of whoever we want there so they want, you know, they want to dictate to us. See how to get out? They want to dictate to us who we should have at someone's home going. You can't even be respectful then. You can't even keep your mouth shut then. You know, like when I had that, that live stream, um, I had even asked people to just, you know, be respectful. I mean, I like listening to Farrakhan. I don't agree with everything. And I just said, just for this, let's not blah, 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 blah. And for the most part, it was some people that came in there with their shit, and we just got rid of them. But for the most part, um, people stay respectful because y'all know on this channel. I know some of y'all can't, um, some of y'all may not agree with who, um, like me supporting um, Farrakhan. I, re I respect that, and y'all respect me. Um, but because we, we family. That's how we get down. And there's a way of doing that. But I love for each other. Uh-uh. Because we have a disagreement, that does not change that. And I don't want you to sit up here and wholeheartedly agree with me and vice versa. If there's a disagreement, there's a disagreement. But when it comes to the time with, at, a, at somebody's funeral, can we just uh, hold it together for a few hours? See, we don't want to be affected like that by in this system. We've been affected a lot in this system by, by these people because these people don't respect anything. So... Um, they sitting up here with their jaws all tight, wondering why Farrakhan is there. And then people want to say, well, maybe he didn't speak because they decided, oh, no, he's too controversial. Y'all got that wrong, too. Our elder here chose not to speak. He was really enjoying himself. He was taking it all in. Because it was, in the end, it was powerful. You know, when we start getting up there doing what we're doing, oh, yeah, it's going to touch you in some kind of way so um if you want to hear some great music other than that mess that i put up um yesterday boy my voice is off i got i ain't been practicing my vocals and i appreciate y'all and i don't have no problem with y'all laughing at me with that you know i know how to laugh at myself <laughs> you know be able to laugh at yourself we shouldn't take everything super serious we should be able to have unquote balance so one of my when i'm not um, sitting here doing videos sometimes I like to just um, practice my vocals because I don't sing the songs full through I'll do a song one day and sing it full through but I um, I got sick and um, I could tell my vocals was jacked was jacked and uh, a couple of people said some stuff and some people got mad and I was letting them know no it, it, uh, go ahead laugh at me you know somebody said keep your day job <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fine that's fine you know i'm gonna get you too you're gonna get caught slipping i'm gonna get you y'all know i can shoot the dozens with the best of them but anyway my royal family um uh, with that said um i just had to get that off my heart um it pissed me off i felt some kind of way um with um um barack's um sheer disrespect continuing sheer disrespect to the royal family because um, 
in that particular um, situation, this is when you display the art of war. And um, and um, I would have said if I was if I had pretty much sold out, I would have said to the unquote enemy, no, I have to show the queen respect. And um, it's a hard one, you know, where they be like, well, no, you're going to do what we say. And it's like, no, no, I'm going to show her respect. So they'll respect you more. They, they'll never like you when you stand up for thyself. See, at the end of the day, we all have choices. And with our choices, there are consequences. It may be negative or it may be positive. But exercise your choices. But when you allow your, the, your enemy, our enemy, to take away your choices, to me, you're dead. Damn. So you're spineless. It's like that. You don't even buck a little bit. Yes, sir. And that's it. No forethought, no nothing at all. So anyway, my royal family, my queen, my queen, you have um, used your voice. You have um, supported the civil rights mu movement and many other things that we don't even know about. And I truly thank you, my queen. Now, my royal family, the last thing I want to leave y'all with, I had said two years ago, our father told me, metaphorically speaking, I am gathering up my saints. And I had said to y'all that this is just for the chosen ones, the ones that are well known, celeb different celebrities, um, authors, doctors, you know, well known ones. And I'm speaking to the new people, my royal family, because I know many have heard this, that they will pass over. Also, the well-known chosen ones in our surrounding communities and also in our individual collective families. There's messages in the songs, there's messages in the books, and there's messages in their actions and deeds. Because we have truly hit that paradigm shift. And when I said that two years ago, nobody bucked back or anything like that or tripped, but some people are now behind the scenes saying, now I'm seeing what you're talking about. And it's even astounding to me because just on a short list, okay, Natalie Cole, Prince, uh, Dr. Sabi, um, our queen, Dr. Uh, Dr. Francis Cressus, welding and I know I'm jacking up a name somebody gonna let me know that and I could go on and on and on it is obvious they have done their work they have done their work so we're going to see more of this also Dick Gregory and everything so when I get some when I when I first got that message from the creator I was like wow what and I didn't immediately tell the royal family I just kind of sat back and just absorbed it and I see it Winnie Mandela. And so when we were, um, um, when I had the live stream going, what we did in part of the live stream, I asked people in the royal family to name off the ones who have already passed over. And the beautiful part was we were naming off relatives um, and the unquote, um, the known chosen ones. We, it, was, it was spiritual to do that just to so, show respect. And we need to maintain that. We don't let nobody run us on that. Um, they are not, unquote, deceased. The body is not there, but you can't kill the soul. So anyway, my royal family, I have rendered my voice. So do what you, this is what you need to do. Render your voice with your beautiful divine words. And as always, my royal family. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your support. And with that said, Ashe.